Welcome to Through the Ropes. Through the Ropes is all about professional wrestling and wrestlers. All of you have questions concerning this popular and exciting sport, and it's our hope that we can answer your questions and maybe create other questions for you. Through the Ropes is a product of Carolina Championship Wrestling Alliance and Kennet Promotions. And now here's your host for Through the Ropes. You know, a lot of people think, well, where's Dick Slater been? Where does Dick Slater do? And Dick Slater is after a lot of things in life. Dick Slater is the kind of man that when he gets after somebody or wherever he wants to get after, he's going to get the job done. Everywhere I've ever gone, anywhere in this whole world, and I said I was going to get the job done, I'm going to get it done. The CTWA, that alliance, the number one alliance right now, professional wrestling, Dick Slater is coming your way. And when Dick Slater comes your way, a lot of people start shaking, a lot of nerves get a little bit of jumpy, and a lot of promoters start really getting itchy because they say, well, we can't have him in the building. We can't promote this man because everywhere he goes, he's the worst troublemaker in the world. Well, that's my, that's my thing. I'll cause you more trouble, more excitement, more pain. I'm going to take every title I get my hands on, and Dick Slater's coming back as strong as he can ever be. You be watching for me because I'm going to be right where you're at. This is yours truly, Greg the Hammer Valentine, and I've got news for you. I'm just about to sign a big lucrative contract for myself and also for the Carolina Championship Wrestling Alliance, CCWA, that's what they call it. Well, Greg the Hammer Valentine, yours truly, is going to be doing some matches in the future. And I know you know about the past for Greg the Hammer Valentine, and now you're going to know about the future. You know about the United States heavyweight title I had. You know about the World Tag Team Championships I've had along with Ric Flair, and you know about my career in the WWF, the Intercontinental Championship, and the World Tag Team Championship. But now the big news is that I'm headed to Carolina Championship Wrestling Alliance, the CCWA. Don't you forget it. Greg the Hammer Valentine will be there. Hey, my name is Jimmy Garvin. I'm coming to Carolina Championship Wrestling Alliance, and I'm coming there to kick some ass. So if you want to see some real action, stay tuned, because we'll be back. I'd like to say hello to all the wrestling fans out there. I'm Chief Red Thunder. 
Looking forward to uh, coming to the CCWA and possibly teaming up with my old friend, the Iron Chief, you know, possibly go after the tag team championships. Look forward to seeing you. With the uh, Anderson, the CCWA tag team champions, they have been in, in the CCWA for a year and a half. Mr. Anderson, I guess I'll respect you tonight because y'all do have a good team. Well, I'm not real pleased about being here with you, Ken Lee. There's been a lot of blood between us. Went one direction, went the other. And I can live with that, but we're here tonight mainly to, we've got, we've got a message, we need to say something. The Andersons are tired. The Andersons are real tired about fighting the crowd. We're not going to fight the crowd no more. I have no beef with the crowd. GW doesn't have a beef with the crowd. Stan Lee, I ain't got a beef with you. I got my problem with the management at CCWA because they run us, you understand, against anything and everything what you like. You know, good old boys, people with blonde hair, people that are clean cut, they wear shiny clothes and stuff, and they go to church on Sunday. You, you know got a problem with that? I go to church on Sunday, but I'm tired of fighting all these good old boys and not getting the respect that we deserve. We've been champions for a year and a half, Sandy Lee. This is true. Yeah, y'all have been good champions. We only do what it takes. What it takes, what is necessary to win in the ring. I have no beef with them people outside the ring. Those people are fans. If they want to cheer us, that's all well and good. I can live with that. If they want to boo us, I can live with that too. I sleep real well at night, Sandy Lee. I have no problem with, with whatever's going on in their minds. My beef is with the people in the ring and the management at CCWA for not putting us up against people that we can really have some competition with. Bring somebody in here that can handle us. How about Poison Ivy and uh, Rick Thunder? Come on, man. We'll find out on September the 9th. I got an itch. You got an itch? Poison Ivy can give me an itch, but I got the weed killer. His name's CW. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take care of the Poison Ivy. The Thunder is no problem. Bring him on. We got him. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Just give us the respect we deserve. That's all I've got to say. When you earn respect, you'll get respect. Participants in the uh, September blah, 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 show. Folks, we have two participants in the September night show at Harrison Gym. The Anderson's going to be taking on Poison Ivy and Rick Thunder. You got anything to say about that, Mr. Anderson? Harrison Gym knows us, and they know us well. We've been down there. That's our home territory, Thunder. Thunder, you come down out of Virginia. You've been chasing us all up and down the East Coast. It won't work. It'll never work. You, you bring in the local boy, Poison Ivy. He's trash. He can't stay with us in the ring. All he is is big. He's sloppy. The only thing he can do with us is get in our way while we're going to the world belt. That's what we're after. We're after all the gold. And Thunder, Ivy, you're just a stepping stone, brother. All of you. You're trash. We're going to squash you. You think he can squash them? September 23rd, Labor Day Thunder, two people. The Anderson the, versus Rick Thunder. Go, tell them what you're going to do, Pat. Rick <laughs> Thunder, it was your mama last time. It's what I did to her is what I'm going to do to you, punk. you seen what happened to her. It was this hand. It was this one right here on camera, brother. It was this one. It said right in your mama's mouth. It's the same thing you're going to get, I'm telling you. It's this one right here, right in your mouth, Rick Thunder. It's you. <laughs> Come see it, people. September 23rd, Harrison Gym. We're there. 23rd, Corinth Holder Gym. We got the Andersons. We got the Iron Chief and Sandy Lee's special friends brought up from down in Georgia. The good old boys who are just dripping with nice and kindness. The Duke boy lookalikes make me sick. Jimmy Boogie Woogie bagging out there with his old ugly self dancing around. But, Mr. Mr. Pat Anderson, what's the deal with the good old boys? Tell me about them. Talk to I can't me. Even, I can't even start to describe these boys. There's some tobacco picking, RC cola drinking, moon pie eating rednecks out of the armpit of America. I think it's Georgia down there, they call it. That they come up here into our backyard blazing and looking sporty. They can't deal with us. They have no idea what they're stepped off into. Sandy Lee has tricked them, gave them a dollar or two to come up here and get banged up. Because all they're going to do is get hurt in our backyard. They cannot take the Andersons, because when the bell rings, we ain't no joke. 
Bring them on. You heard it, people. Be there. September 23rd, Corinth Elementary. I'm a newcomer to CCWA, David Dawson, 265 pounds. Good high school background, college background. Been wrestling up in Virginia some. We saw him down Myrtle Beach, down South Carolina a couple weeks ago. Um, kid's got some talent. Um, the only thing he needs is a little direction, and, and he's going to come to the CCWA and he, with our high intentions. Talk to us. Tell me what you're going to do to CCWA, buddy. Well, Mr. Rich, I'm here mainly because it's the hotbed of wrestling. I mean, the best town on the East Coast is right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is where I'm from. This is where I want to wrestle. I want to put my name on the map. And I want to go against the best competition, hopefully impress all the fans, and be the best wrestler that I can be. Okay, who's this gentleman over here? I've seen him ringside with you. I haven't been introduced to him. Who's this here? This is my uh, advisor, R.J. Jackson. R.J. Jackson. He's been going out to the ring, not in kind of a managerial role. He's been kind of watching the boys back and trying to point out his mistakes, and um, kind of like a coach, I guess you'd say. I've been seeing him out there, and he's been doing a good job. But, um, people, here he is, newcomer again, David Dawson, CCWA. We're glad to have you here, son, and look forward to seeing more of you. I'm on David Dawson, newcomer CCWA. This week, up at Corinth Elementary, working the nuclear nightmare. He's kind of a karate guy. He kicks, he bangs, he's awful fast. David, um, one of your first big matches in CCWA, how are you going to handle somebody with this much talent? Well, I see it, and he's a good man. i got a lot of respect for his ability. But I'll tell you one thing. He's going to throw some feet. I'm going to take him to the mat. I'm going to fastest big man on the East Coast. I'm going to show him what a big, big dog is all about. <laughs> you heard it, people. The big dog. Uh, where'd you get that big, big dog? What I, I'll go with this with you later, people, next trip. That's not but one dog in CCWA. If I need to get your attention, let me do whatever it takes to do it. Because I've got a little bit to say about the Anderson. That's CW. I'm Pat. Now that you know us personal, I want to tell you a little bit about us. I tell you what, we come from the first family of wrestling. We're the only ones that know how to wrestle in the CCWA. The rest of them are trash. We're the only things that can go up top. He goes up top. I stay down bottom. And when we win, we win and we win big. We hurt people. We punish people. We do what it takes. We get necessary. And we hurt them. And we're going to keep on hurting them. Let them send them at us. Because it makes me feel good when I grab people and I lay them down and I hold them down. And C.W. flies off the top and he crashes up on them with his flying elbow and his legs. We were kind of live here. We're getting ready for the show. Oh, we're just, we in trouble. We, well, we're getting ready for the show, baby. You the show's, the phone. This is going to be on the show, but we, we're getting ready for it. And I got a phone call here. Got a phone call from, from somebody who's near and dear to my heart. We hadn't seen him in a couple of weeks. Dr. J, he, he's, he's coming. Listen, we got some film now, I think, of him coming off the Learjet. He has been, can you show the film of the doctor, the one and only doctor? Here he comes. He's getting off the Learjet. Oh, there, people please. look at him. Look at been down playing some look golf, riding paint. around the Did country. No, but I like this suspenders. Spinners, you know, they're a little, 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 loud, little, little loud, but not gaudy. And look at that. Look, he's getting in the limo. The driver's putting him. That's her. That's, him to do this? I think that's Herbert, his limousine driver. I'm not sure what the guy's name his is. Limousine. His limousine Look. driver. Don't get carried away here. I know. I know. Jealousy is an evil, and ugly thing. Just control yourself. But um, he's getting in the limo. Jealous. This happened. This happened earlier today, people. But now what's happened? I got him here on the line. Um, um, can you come back to me, Doc? Can you come back to can, can, Doc? Doc, are you there? Are you there, Doc? Okay. Um, well, maybe we're gonna just show the limousine drive off here for a few minutes. Doctor, put the ca cameraman, put the camera on me, please. Where am I at? Here I am. Thank you. I'm sorry, young year, Doc. It's just that I'm dealing with scuberisms here, and it's hard to deal with. Sandy don't know what's going on. Let me tell Sandy. I'll tell you people out there. Doctor has been, you know, we hadn't seen him in a week or so, and you're not complaining, I know. I've been, nice. been, been nice. It's been nice. quieter around here. It sure has. But we're in the studio sitting here getting ready to do the show, and all of a sudden he calls me, and he's on the line here now, and that was a lot. He's got a live cam. That was recorded earlier today. He wanted to show off his new leader. I well, think he did. On his jet. He was riding in it. Don't mean it was his. Okay, whatever. He wanted to show off his jet. He was riding in, and he got out of, and um, shows how he travels. in the limousine there. Much. And how much it costs, but he's found somebody that maybe, he found maybe, a maybe is a little bigger <laughs> than you. Uh, he's got an interview. Yeah, he's six nine. What three hundred? Yeah. This guy's bigger than you are. There's not but one guy in CCWA bigger than you are. He found him. He went all over he the found country. Him. He's got him. We got a live me. interview. Doctor, are you ready for the interview? Are you ready, Doc? Are you out there? Doc, can you hear me? Doc. Well, who you got with you, Doc? 
Show these yeah. people. Come on, Doc. Yes, you can do it. Rich. I've got him. I found him. I, I have rode all over everywhere. Look at that. Low on that Look at that, that Sandy. Good Lord. Well, I have found him. Here he is. I thought he was here going he Halloween. <laughs> that means he's glad to be here, fam. Yeah, right. Yes. We got him from Alaska. Here. Uh, what? Well, hey, where'd you find him at? Doctor, where'd you find him at? That, that's none of your business. What do you Sandy mean it's Lee? none of my business? None of your business at all. All you've got to worry about is that we've got him. The rich and Dr. J has got something to protect ourselves with. Is that not but, right? <laughs> He loves pain. He loves inflicting oh. pain. He is bad. And do, would you even think about trying him, Sandy? Yeah, I'll try him. You think I'm afraid of him? <laughs> Are you crazy? I don't think <laughs> I'm mean, I ain't afraid of him. Bring him on. <laughs> I love it. I love Doc. Look, he's getting a little out of control. There. Look at him. He looks, he looks as if he's trying to, uh, Doc, Doc, is there something wrong with him? What, what's the deal? Yeah, 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 yeah. easy, easy, easy. Jason's getting a little excited talking about fighting. And Sandy, he's willing to try you. He said he could whoop anybody. And you include. You might be big, but you're no ways as big as he is. Fans, I've got to go. He's walking back up, and he's ill. I've got to go by. <laughs> but, you think I'm afraid but, of but you? Wait a minute. Bye, bye, Doc. Take care of yourself. Doc? Doc? He went dead. Maybe Jason got him. I don't know <laughs> what happened to him. But hey, you saw it, Big. He got Big Jason for an interview. Well, he might will you me. He that. might will me, but he's gonna need an all-day lunch. Well, he might. He might. I'm not saying he can whip you. I didn't say that. Don't get it. Yeah, right. Me. Hey, people, we got to go. You We're gonna be we, for me, we'll be back in a couple of hours to finish the show. Um, hey, hope you enjoyed you this interview, Doctor. Doctor, God bless you for finding baby. You really keep you the you the top of the line in my book. We'll see you people later. Uh, goodbye. Come here tonight. We got the U.S. Heavyweight Champion with us, and he's had a few words he wanted to say to us. Why I don't know. Go ahead, Mr. Dog. This is for you, Con. Nobody. I don't. I want you turn your TV set up. This is for you, Con, especially. See, we got a match coming up the fourth of November at Harrison Gym in Selma. All I heard was, "I want to fight the dog. I want to pay the dog back for what he did to my knee." Well, boo-hoo, slick. Right here it says I ain't got to fight some no-name has-been that never really was. But I'll tell you what. I'll put Mr. Rich's bodyguard in the ring with you. You take him out, and I'll think about fighting you. But as for fighting me November 4th, I don't think so, buddy. That's all I got to say, man. Folks. This Saturday night, we'll be there, and the con's going to take on the Iceman, who, if he beats the Iceman, Iceman, and I believe he will, he gets a shot at the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. I want you to sign a contract, if you're man enough. It ain't got to do nothing being a man. That fat fool ain't going to get past ice. <laughs> I don't know. It's all... Hey, people, Randy Rich, the greatest mind in wrestling, and my best friend in the world, Dr. J, Suspenders Incorporated here, the, the best-dressed man in the CCW. I'm here to tell you. I tell you what, and we're here to talk about somebody tonight that probably weighs almost as much as both of us, somebody who's insulted me. Hillsbury insu Doughboy? Yeah. <laughs> the big slam from wherever he's at. Yeah, from nowhere. From Going nowhere. nowhere and done nothing. Used to be at the dog <laughs> Another used been. to be. Used to be world heavyweight champion. He insulted myself, and he insulted you and the Andersons. And how did the Andersons feel about that? What, uh, what? Well, the Andersons, I asked them about that. And, you know, they said if it was anybody at all besides Slam, they might be concerned. They're not even concerned? No. As long as he don't trip and fall on one of them, they said they got nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Slam, if you're out there and you think we might be a little belittling you, and as we big are. as you are, <laughs> we definitely are. <laughs> and you said you could find your partner. Nobody's going to wrestle with you, buddy, because they're scared you'll trip and fall on them and smother them to death. They don't know, but we've got <laughs> nothing know. to fear in the world, have we? Slam, whenever you're ready to take on somebody, <laughs> the Andersons, the Rich Foundation, whoever, whenever, whatever, Just roll it on out and give us a call. BR549. Yeah. We're out of here, Doc.
Hey, people, Randy Ritz, Dr. J, we're back again talking about another minuscule problem. The ex-mayor. Ho-ho. Ho-ho. Ho-ho eater, as the dog called him. Come in here. Mayor Dunn, Dunn, Slum. Slum, somewhere. I don't know. 49 votes. 49 votes that want a big place on a crossroads, I guess. He probably voted 48 times himself. They let him vote by the pound. But anyway, people... He, he wants the dog's belt. He wants a chance at the U.S. He belt. Does, really. And, and, and he, he, tr- he insulted, threatened to whip me, threatened he to whip the doctor. He has a lot of heart. He, he you know. got ho <laughs> And, you know, he's talking about wanting to take the dog's belt. But remember one thing, Con. You're out there alone. You don't have the great minds behind you anymore. You're all alone. You want to take this one. You want to take that one. Dog signed a contract to he's fight crying. you, buddy. But what Mr. Lee and Cece, you will fight him. When we get ready. That's Not it. Not when you're ready. He's got a long way ready. to go and up the what, ladder because they can't know, find one heavy enough to hold him up. <laughs> you think you're smart? You know, you, you signed it so I can't be at ringside? Hey, that's fine. I don't have to be at ringside. Dog can whip you all over that ring without me being there. But since I'm not going to be there, that, who could be there? <laughs> Brains over, Brown. We'll see you people later. Bye, uh, Con. Don't lose any sleep, baby. Duck and <laughs> Ain't it a sign? Three hundred and fifty pounds. You, did, 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 did the satellite did we shot shot everything? Did, 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 oh, it came got in good. He got violent. What happened? You lost he the snatched phone? the cord, broke the camera. He went wild. Well, did that mean it's Sandy or thing, just talking about fighting? Just talking about fighting. Anybody. He went after the cameraman. That little red light. Yeah. It's not got. You don't want him to see red. I found red that out. Oh, it's got to be a candle light. I lit my cigarette lighter and he calmed down just like rubbing a cat's back. I ain't kidding you. He calmed right down. I've never rubbed a cat's back. But anyway. Oh, I have. Well, no, I've rubbed a kitten's back, but never a cat. But anyhow, Jason said, people, he's coming, CCWA. He's bad. He's he, mean. He, he's lean. He's a fighting submarine. I tell you what, he whipped Mario in less time it takes to take out the trash. And, um, you know, I... I Sandy, I told you, nobody. Sandy, you got doing. medical problems, whatever. I don't want you in there, buddy. We call a kid about Sandy. We like him. I'm scared you really get hurt. So we'll get some of these hurt. other people. <laughs> He'll be annihilated. What can I say? But anyhow, we don't, we, people, you'll see him. CCWA's got him in all his seven foot one, 350 whatever years pound glory. He'll be there, and he's wrestling. Well, four steaks the other night, foundation. faster than I could put them on the yes, table. Yes, sir. I know. And you didn't even cook them enough. We'll be back. We'll see yeah. you later. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> 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 we fast. You're Andy Rich, ladies and gentlemen. Been down in Atlanta partying with the Braves World Series champ. Salute, Braves. We love you, baby. Thanks for the T-shirt and the feathers. Got some little feathers here. But we're talking wrestling now, people. Talking CCWA wrestling, the best there is. Got got them. Big Dog here with me. He's got a new friend or partner or whatever. Talk to me, Big Dog. Who is this guy? What's going on with you, baby? All right, Mr. Rich, this is the deal. When I first came to CCWA, I tried to do another different style from what I'm used to when I first started. It didn't work. I lost. I went back to my old ways. I won. This is the new me. This is the Big Dog. I'm not saying I'm turning my back on the fans or the rules. It's just me. I have no friends here. So I got on jet last week, went back to the Cayman Islands where I started wrestling. Saw my man Nico. Right there's the man I sit beside you. He's wrestled with me before, and he is a wrestler, and he is a punisher. And that's all I need to get my name in CCWA. Hey, man. Hey, by the way, before we get in for the nice shades, baby, I really like this. But anyway, this is Nico, huh? Okay. Cayman Islands, um, your tag team partner or just your partner at the ring? Is he going to do any singles? What's the deal? Is he working with you or, do, or what's the deal, man? He will work with me. He will work alone. If he works alone, I will be right behind him every step of the way. So y'all kind of covering each other's back. Right. Doing something like a good manager, somebody like that would do. Hey, you heard it here first on, <laughs> from Randy Rich, CCWA, Carolina Championship, and that's all I can say. If you do championship, you forget the rest and look at the best people. Hey, big dog, thank you for coming by, Mr. Nico. You're just a hit. You got personality coming out your shoes there, buddy. We'll see you later. See you next time. This ain't Sandy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Randy Rich, Carolina Championship Wrestling. Proud to be with you tonight. Got a little information here about CCWA. I'm told that I have to introduce this gentleman sitting over here on my left. We'll show him to you in just a minute. He is former CCWA referee, was was head referee, the lead man in the referee in force for a long time here. He was body slammed, and he came out of the body slam, and all of a sudden he's become 
this. Um, he's um, grog now. Um, he is uh, managing some people in other wrestling organizations, coming back to CCWA as a manager, and I understand also signed a CCWA contract to do interviews with wrestlers and on our show here every week. So I guess I should welcome him to our CCWA staff. Hatton Grog, I hadn't seen you much since the accident or the, or the slamming or whatever you would like to call it. Um, haven't been around us much. Heard you've been working on the other part of the state, western part of the state. Heard you've been working up in Virginia and down South Carolina and I think up in Philadelphia, up there with those guys for a while this summer. Your experience is always appreciated. And I like the other grog, the referee, and I assume that we'll like, I heard about, you know, personality changes and everything. What's the deal? Why did you come back as a manager? What, 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 fill us in. Good evening, Mr. Rich. Well, I took a bump to the head. Uh, the real me came back out. Count Grog. I was a long-time wrestling manager, and I thought the CCWA could use a little expertise in that area. <laughs> expertise in that area. But, you know, CCWA, there's always room for talent on the managerial side. But, you know, we've already got, not toot my own horn, not that I would, but, you know, CCWA, you know, five-time manager of the year. Um, Dr. J, you know, two-time manager of the year. Um, He's managing the Andersons, the, the World Tag Team Champions. I had the dog, the U.S. Champion. And, um, you know, we, we – what talent? Who do you have? You've not told us anything. You came in here. This caught me completely by surprise here tonight. I had no idea what was going on. You were here. The producer told me. The director got me over on the side. And I, I don't know what's going on. I usually know what's going on, CCWA. What kind of talent have you signed? Anybody I should know? You're sitting there with that evil grin on your face. Talk to me. Well, who do you have? What, what's the deal? You, as, long, as well as the fans here at the CCWA, will find out in the upcoming months who I have. I've been managing several wrestlers throughout the southeast, and I will be bringing those in in a periodic basis. And there are some wrestlers here in the CCWA that I have my eye on. They may be part of the Rich Foundation. They may be part of the Fourth Alliance. Time will tell. You, <laughs> well, I guess, um, you know, you can't really blame anybody for kind of better than yourself. But um, so really you're just kind of coming in to take who you want and who you can get. And you don't have any alliance with anybody, just you and your people. I saw some real big – we were working a show in Asheville a couple months ago, and he came out with two real big gentlemen that just kind of kicked and beat and scratched and gouged and spit and beat the heck out of the people that were working and walked out. And they were – am I right? Weren't they called the unknown source? Wasn't that, that what they were called? You didn't want anybody to know who they were? What's the deal there? Time will tell if they show up here in the CCWA. They will be great big. Well, um, okay, you've got to do an interview next week. I know the crowd's going to want to know that you're coming back. And, um, you know, you're not a man with a lot of words here. Had been tonight, of course. Around me is tough sometimes. But um, who is the lucky goober, the lucky CCWA person that you're going to, who is going to come out here and be interviewed with a guy with a cape and some kind of amulet there? Who is going to be sitting right here for you to interview next week? Well, Mr. Rich, I thought long and hard about who oh, I yeah, wanted to interview. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking of several of the champions you have here. Sure, yeah. But I, yeah. I decided there was someone who has some things that need to be said. So I decided next week... You, Mr. Rich, would be my first. Me? Can he do that? He can't. He can do that. No, he can't. People, <clears throat> I'm going to be interviewed next week by Grog. It should be a treat for y'all. Um, and well, until next week, um, this is Randy Rich, the greatest mind in CCWA, with Count Grog. And I guess next week you'll see him interviewing me. And good night, people.
Good evening and welcome to the Carolina Championship Wrestling Update. My first guest tonight is CCWA manager Randy Rich. Mr. Rich, while well, I appreciate your blatant disregard for rules and regulations, Me? your managerial technique, I may say, is in question. Who do you manage right now? Well, of course, you know, um, we got we got the, the U.S. champion. We got the dog, the, the real U.S. champion, you know, defending against anybody, anytime. And then, of course, we got the number one contender for the world heavyweight belt, KC Thunder. Big boy out of Asheville, North Carolina, comes in, kicks booty all the way. Look good for the crowd. Just just a pleasure to manage him. And we're just having a large time. Plus, you know, there's two or three other ones kind of online here, there, and everywhere. Um, you know, maybe come out to ring with Judy Martin when she's down. She's one of my favorites, and um, she is the women's champion right now. And, and you know, we got, you know, a couple on, but the, but the dog in KC, that takes takes a lot of my time. So what you're saying, Mr. Rich, is you only have two wrestlers in your stable. Is that true? Only have two? Well, um, I guess you, you kind of on contract. Well, that, uh, y yes, I guess that's true. We got two on contract. Two fine wrestlers, though seem to have a, a long history of not getting along with your protégés. Um, the mayor, Khan the Warlord, for example. What, what, what happened with him? Well, Khan and Dog, it wasn't me. Khan loves me, but really, well, Khan likes me. Well, Khan can stand to be around me anyway. But he, um, he had this kind of a personal thing with Dog, and Dog didn't think that he was really ready to wrestle. And, and, and people, you're going to see it here. Um, Maybe tonight on, on you gonna see the match and, and what happened was just you know it was kind of not my fault I had nothing to do with it Con but he didn't really believe that and that kind of but I hadn't had any problems with any other wrestlers lately that I can remember. Speaking of wrestling manager myself, I think keeping peace in the family is something that the manager has to do. How about the big slam? What, what happened to him? The last time I was in the CCWA. You were managing the big slam. And he was heavyweight champion when I was managing him. Um, slam has just kind of jealousy prevailed. His ego was big as his belly, maybe. I, I really don't know. I tried to, we did everything we could to try to keep him. Um, I, I think it's maybe a little jealousy. He don't have a belt. He's not really the number one contender in CCWA for, the, for any of the belts. You know, he kind of came out and declared war against myself. And, Doc, you haven't been talking to him, have you? I'm not saying who I've been talking to. Okay, you want to play that way, huh? Yeah. Uh, the, the last time I was in the CCWA, you're also managing Major De Beers. And I must thank you for that because I've, I've been having a very successful year in other wrestling alliances with, with the good Major. The Major is a fine wrestler, and um, for whatever reason, you plucked him from CCWA and put him out wherever he was. Um, it's sure it's been beneficial to both you people, but let's don't talk about the beers. He's not presently involved in CCWA, um, is he? Again, we'll see in the upcoming months who is coming to the CCWA. I'll be dictating that. Uh, well, I tell you what, since you don't want to talk to me, I just think that this interview, I'm going to see here. I'm not going to say I'm going to rub my duck. Mallard. This is a gift from Dr. J, a beautiful gift. And um, I'm not going to say anything else. You can close this and talk to yourself or talk to those goobers or whatever you want to do. I've talked to you enough, I think. This is Count Grog saying good evening for the Carolina Championship Wrestling Update. Good evening. This is Count Grog with the CCWA Update. Tonight, my guest is the dog. Mr. Dog, while I've never cared for your wrestling style or your repugnant odor, I share a common bond with you in your hatred for the Iron Chief, who I understand you defeated for the CCWA U.S. Heavyweight Championship. Let's get a few things straight here. I don't care what you think of me. You're just like that goober Sandy Lee. Always out here running your mouth about who smells what. Look, I have a belt around my waist. I beat that fat beer drinking chief out of his belt. And Sandy always did. Well, you cheated again. 
I don't care how I got it. I am the U.S. champion. I'm making lots of money and riding around in limos with Mr. Rich and Dr. J. In fact, we just flew in from the Philippines this morning. Now, if you got some serious questions to ask me, then ask him. If not, you can leave, and I'll finish this section of the show. You understand me? Now, now, Mr. Dodd. Like I said, I share the same feelings you do about the Iron Chief. I've never had any love for him. But you just brought up a, a subject I am very interested in. Mr. Rich, how do you enjoy being employed by Mr. Rich? Does he treat you well? Are you really making the money he claims he's making for you? I don't question Mr. Rich. He tells me, do this, and he gives me a certain amount of money. I enjoy the fight. I enjoy the pain. I enjoy dishing out pain. If I can break your leg, hey, I've had a good week. So the money meant nothing. But I'd like to make more money. But Mr. Rich sees that I'm taken care of. I have diamonds. I have limo rides. I have anything I want. Whatever makes you happy there, Mr. Dog. Whatever makes you happy. Let's bring up some um, contenders for your U.S. heavyweight title. I've, I've noticed Khan the Warlord has not received any title shots recently. Why is this? That's because Khan is some politician. You done got me started now. Khan is some politician out there eating hoes and drinking sodas and sitting in his office, and he jumped out here, hey, I want to be a wrestler. Well, my grandmother wants to be a wrestler. You got to go out there and train. You got to have that killer instinct. You got to be like a shark. When you smell blood in the water, you go for it. And until he gets that attitude, he ain't getting no shot, no way. He's got to go through Rich, and he, I got enough confidence in Rich that he ain't going to let Khan get in here. You seem to put a lot of stock what Mr. Rich tells you. Does, does he handpick all your opponents for you? Hey, I'm the U.S. champion. The U.S. Not their U.S. champion. Not the fans' U.S. champion. I am the U.S. champion. That's all that counts. And to tell you the truth, you're asking me silly questions. And ask Mr. Rich or Sandy Lee, when I get tired of silly questions, I just don't talk no more. So you do what you need to, all right? Very well. I think I've heard enough from you anyway. Again, this is Count Grog with the CCWA Update. Good evening. Gentlemen, Randy Rich with the CCWA Update interview. The Big Slam here with me tonight. The biggest and probably the meanest member of the Rich Foundation, 460-pound, former U.S. champion, former world heavyweight champion, two-thirds of the tag team champions. What the hell? What is the way you're able? I'm so, what's wrong, buddy? I'm so glad he's here. With him tonight, he's going to talk about his comeback match. He's been gone, been wrestling up north. Tell us where you've been, all what over. you've been doing, baby. I've been all over the East Coast, Philadelphia, Virginia, Georgia. I went out to Asheville, North Carolina. I've been wrestling Jake the Snake Roberts, Cactus Jack the Barbarian. And I came up to be on some of the little, give some of my talent, show to the people in the CCWA. Let us see what the real wrestlers like. Hey, man, we're glad to have you back. He is former world heavyweight champion, looking to take the belt back from ATAR. ATAR. That's my number one position right there. Now, when I left, something a little something strange happened when I lost the belt. It wasn't my fault losing the belt. But um, I'm coming back to get the belt. From ATAR, whoever's got it, it don't Whoever matter? Whoever has the belt. I don't care. This is going back around my waist, where it belongs. Well, it's kind of a big belt to be around ATAR's I, waist. He's not really... He's a big man to, to take that belt like me. <laughs> The biggest man in the CCWA. <laughs> the Philadelphia Flash people. Here he is, the big slam, 460 pounds. Um, slam, you got any last words for ATAR? Well, ATAR, all I can say to you is keep conditioning, stay in the gym, and pray. Just pray because you're going to need it. You heard it here first. CCWA update. I'm Randy Rich with the big slam. We're out of here. See you next time. Lee with the CCWA update. But my big, my big friend, the Slam. Now, we had a confrontation the other day. What's going on? Well, Sandy, things happened since I left. And I'm a changed man. Because let me tell you something. When I was in here, in this Federation Wrestling, Randy Rich was my manager. Yeah, he's still manager. Right? I was <laughs> the biggest and best thing he had going for him. Right? The only thing. 
I leave for a few months to go and wrestle superstars like Jake the Snake Roberts, Cactus Jack the Barbarian. I've been wrestling people all winter. I come back. Atar has the heavyweight strap. And instead of him worrying about Atar and me, he has the dog with some strap around his waist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who who is he? The dog? Oh, he's some junkyard dog that smells worse than the junkyard. I was the force of his alliance. His organization was me. But, well, you, you know, was the majority size of it. I can grant you that. And I just sat back and I thought, and I believe I seen the light because after how I seen what they did to Conda Warlord, when he was just a loyal hey, yeah. guy, you know what I mean? And they just did that to him, I couldn't take it no more. Well, you think, listen, Randy Rich gives the rest of what he wants them to. He gives them 90, he, he keeps 90% and gives them poor guys 10%. I'm glad you finally woke up to it. Well, let me tell you something. Like I said that night on that microphone, I told Randy Rich, I said, you give me the dog, I'll take his belt. Casey Thunder ain't even man enough to get in the ring with me because he can't even win a belt. Viper showed you that. He beat him. He can't even dance, can he? <laughs> he can't even dance. And let me tell you something. You tell the other two bums that had the tag straps, the Andersons, like I told them, if I need to get me a partner, I will get me a partner. And we will come into the tag straps. Because there ain't no belt safe now. You done made me mad. And that's all I'm worried about. So let me tell you something. The people is going to see some good fighting now. It ain't no more wrestling. It's fighting because it's business. That's all I'm here for is strictly business. I'm here to see some smiling, happy kids. See all the bums in CCWA get what they deserve. I'm and glad there's somebody. I'm glad there's somebody coming in to CCWA that can help put Rich and Dr. J, whatever you want to call these two bops. Listen, they're talking about poor old Grog. Huh. They look like they're brothers. I'm going to put Rich and Dr. J right where they belong in the hospital. Good. Well, folks, we'll be back next week with another update. Randy Rich with another CCWA update. Hey, sitting here with gorgeous George III. Everybody watches wrestling, know who he is, know where he's been. WCW, USWA, been down in Puerto Rico for a while, working down there, WWF for a while. He's back. He's thinking about coming back to CCWA. Um, wants to get down here and get dirty, get nasty with the boys. George, glad to have you, my friend. Good to see you here. Always somebody of your talent coming in. Glad to see you coming in in CCWA. We've, you know, we've had our differences of opinions, and, and I like the way you work. Everywhere you've been, you've been very successful lately, and, and glad to have you here. And, and Tell the fans what you want them to hear, brother. Um, why you're here, what you want, and what you want from CCWA. Well, um, as you know, Mr. Rich, I've been all around the world wrestling, the best talent there is to offer, and I've come back to my roots, so to speak, back to CCWA, and where the best competition is here in the CCWA. Like, you have such great athletes, just like, say, for example, the Dog, the U.S. champion. Right. You know, whether, whether I like him or dislike him, doesn't matter. He is the champion. And you have the champion of the world, Mighty Atar, which is a, a fine physical specimen. And you have the tag champions, which is the roughest two guys I've ever seen, the Andersons. And you also have great athletes such as the Iron Chief, Khan the Warlord, who is Mayor of Bunna, I understand, right? Yes, he got all 17 votes, I think he was. But anyhow, he won. He won fair and square. Right, there you go. And then you got uh, this, this monster of a man coming back, I understand, uh, Big Slam. Yes, he is. Big wow. Slam, big man, very good wrestler. Wow. Uh, you know, like you say, sometimes we don't see eye to eye, but give the devil his dues. The biggest man, one of the toughest men I've ever met, CCWA, NWA, WCW, wherever, one of the toughest people I've ever run across. Yeah. And I know you've worked him a couple of times. You've had oh, your brawls here and there. Yes. Down in Puerto Rico, I think you guys worked. Oh, and, yeah, absolutely. And so you know what he man. is? Um, do you, are you coming in to do singles, tag, or whatever comes open? What are you going for, baby? Well, I'm pretty much scouting all the competition there is out there, and I am really look, keeping my eyes all on the champions. Not, not just one champion or two, but all the champions. And I'm ready to seek out and to uh, grab me a belt, as yeah. they say. Search and, and um, destroy, huh, baby? Absolutely. <laughs> you heard it, people. Gorgeous George III in the CCWA on a Seek and Destroy mission. You guys with your belts, watch out. I'm going to warn the dog because you could be tough on him. You really could be <laughs> tough on him. Hey, this is Randy Rich, CCWA update. We're gone. Thank you. Hello, everybody out there in TV land. CCWA right. fans, I'm back, baby. Me, the big slam. I'm a little upset. I was on here.
a little while back with Randy Rich, and we are talking about my big comeback to the CCWA. And then something happens where he just did the same Randy Rich, and I guess I'm at the same big slam. Because let me tell you something. I went to the ring and told him what I wanted, and all I wanted is a belt. And then the Andersons stuck their head out of the locker room, so hey, I said, I want your belts too. And then we come down to it where I'm at a show talking to fans, sitting there, talking to a couple of fans, and the Andersons jump me from behind. Then the bum Ray Storm comes in and helps me. Let me tell you something. Since none of these are man enough to fight me one-on-one, you want to do tag matches, guess what I did? I went out, and I said, hey, I'm a superstar of the world, so I'm going to get somebody else who's a superstar of the world. And I went out, and I got me a tag team partner. Ah. Let me tell you, here's the man, Gorgeous George III. Mm. Me and him are going to do something to the CCWA (laughs) tag team scene. George, tell him what's going on, brother. That's right, Big Daddy. It's time to get it on. Big Slam, the biggest man ever I've ever seen in my entire life. And me, the human orchid. Together, side by side, like this. And we're going to take the CCWA by storm. That's right, I told you before that I was going to plan to search and destroy and to get a title. And that's what I did. I got the biggest man on God's green earth, Big Slam. Who is bigger than he? No one. Greatest wrestling technician of all time. All along the crew. Ah, gorgeous yours, baby. And when we get together, all we create is stormy weather. And when it comes down to it, boys, all you tag teams, especially you snot nosed Andersons, we're going to take you, slap you around, and show you what a real wrestling duo is all about. Ooh la la. That's it, baby. Just like <laughs> Walt Disney told you. The oh, kids, yeah. you loved them on TV, now you're going to love us. Beauty, the beast, we're coming to CCWA. Randy Rich, ladies and gentlemen, with another CCWA update. Got another newcomer to Carolina Championship Wrestling, Agent Striker, Quantico Marine Base, 200, around 240 pounds, ex-Marine Special Operations person, um, coming to CCWA. Uh, welcome, Agent Striker. Thank you very much. Glad to be here, sir. See, yes, sir, I like that. I like that cushion salute and all that. It tickles me. But he's a good friend. He's, he's been wrestling some up in the northern part of the country. Um, now he's came to CCWA. Good friend of the Viper, I believe. Yes, actually, Viper's a very good guy. How did this come about? Well, I met Viper. It was kind of weird. I was sitting there watching them, you know, the TVs. You know, we get your stations up north. Yeah. And I saw a lot of things I liked about the man. The man's real powerful, very Good strong. Man. Sure is. All right, has a lot of things going for him. But a lot of things are happening to him down here, and he needs a little bit of help. Help. Michael and, needs help. Yeah. I, yes, he does. I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've offered I've offered him several times to you know my guidance and leadership, but he's not seem to be interested in that. Maybe you can help him out. He's technically the sound wrestler. He's our TV champion still, you know. Yes. And um. And it's good to know he's got a friend out there, because there have been some, some notorious people beating up on him and sneaking attacks and Pearl Harbor and all on him. And, and Dog and I were talking just the other day. We don't like to see things like that happen to our friends. And, and we're kind of, you know, I'm sure the dog will be equally tickled that, that you're here to help the Viper out some. Now, um, we, we're glad to have you with us. Uh, you're going to be working singles or tagging with the Viper or just whatever needs to be done, you're going to do it. Well, I'm working singles to start out with, and I'll, I'll be watching Viper's back for him. If he needs a tag, I'll be there for him. I, I think it'll be pretty good. I'm here, like anybody else, I think I'm here for the one reason. I'm here for the gold. Hey, that's cool. You heard it, people. Agent Striker, CCWA Update. Glad to have him. You'll be seeing more of him, and you always can look forward to seeing more of me. Randy Rich, we're out of here. We hope that you've enjoyed Through the Ropes, and we ask that you join us again next week. If you have a question concerning professional wrestling or wrestlers, please send it to Through the Ropes, P.O. Box 913, Zebulon, North Carolina, zip code 27597. Through the Ropes is a product of Carolina Championship Wrestling and Kennett Promotion. See you again next week. Good night.